let's just say I just cracked the code to a remedy for dry skin. So stay tuned to learn about this miraculous butter. Let me begin by introducing my fabulous ingredients, mango butter, and then I'm using shea butter, sweet almond oil, olive oil, um, jojoba oil, vegetable glycerin oil, aloe vera powder, and then of course I have my wonderful measuring spoons over here. I'm gonna be using equal part of mango butter to shea butter. The lighter one is the mango butter and the darker one is the shea butter, so about um, half a cup of each. And I'm using the double boiler method to melt these. And I put it on medium low and just wait till it's melted. I stir it a little bit here and there just to help it melt. Um, the less you leave it on though, the better. Just try to use as low of a heat as possible so that we can preserve the nutrients in these butters. So as soon as almost all the butters were melted, I turned it off and let that hot um, water melt the rest of it and there it is. And uh, we're gonna let this sit for at least a good 10 minutes and then put it in the fridge for about another 10 minutes and then put it in the freezer and the reason for this is if you transfer this hot bowl straight to the freezer with the uh, bowl being hot it may break with the extreme temperatures so I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes uh, until it hardens up a bit not too much though all right, let me give you a little backstory so you guys can know what's going on here, my struggle with making this butter. So I bought this electric mixer and I don't know what happened to the actual bottom that goes with this. This is not the right one. So I am struggling to mix this thing. It's splattering all over because it's not the right uh, whisk or whisker, whatever it's called, on the bottom. I don't know what happened to it. I hope I didn't throw it away. But anyway, yeah, it's this is kind of what I was trying to get to, like the whip looking butter. But unfortunately, I'm using the uh, whisk from my previous electric mixer, which broke. So it was pattering all over. So I transferred this whole thing into another bowl hoping that that will work, but then more disastrous stuff kept happening. It kept splattering. It's just too long, I guess, but I couldn't find the original one that came with it. So I resorted back to my original broken, as you can see, <laughs> electric mixer, which I struggled with because it kept, it kept coming off. So yeah, watch me struggle while I whip this thing here. So 10 minutes of struggling later, I got most of the butters whipped, kind of, um, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my oils. I didn't want to add the oils while I was melting the butters because I wanted to preserve the um, nutrients in these oils. Olive oil is great for the skin. It has antioxidant properties, it's moisturizing, hydrating, and rich in, rich in vitamins A, D, K, and E. Um, almond oil is also hydrating, it's soothing, it has vitamins A and E. It is highly emollient, which means it hydrates and holds in moisture to soothe dry skin. So, this almond oil is phenomenal. Next, I'm gonna add some jojoba oil, which is hydrating, moisturizing, and it also has antioxidant benefits. And next, I'm gonna add some aloe vera gel powder. So this powder is pretty potent. Um, I only use a little bit. I'm not sure 
what the right measurement is but aloe vera powder is very um, soothing and it heals help heals damaged skin is very good for dry skin glycerin is a very good humectant too it attracts and lock in uh, moisture to the skin it softens the skin it helps um, your skin radiates it smoothens the skin giving you that nice complexion so after all that i'm gonna use uh, some essential oil so i've discovered that patchoula with patchoula oil and lavender oil together smells so amazing um, i just love the scent that it brings about but um i'm gonna put some drops of this i believe i put about maybe 10 drops of the patchoula oil and then about eight uh, drops of the lavender oil and you can use whatever your favorite oils are um, it's just mainly to um, give it a scent uh, because not everyone um, likes the way shea butter smells so just to make it smell good and I am whipping this again all together so I can incorporate everything Like I said earlier, um, the whip is not going to be as fluffy as I want it to because I don't have the correct uh, parts to this thing. <laughs> but as long as everything is whipped together, the main thing is this amazing butter. This thing is beyond amazing. It is a winter for most people and my skin is you know just dry in general but especially this winter it's been extremely dry and itchy and burning but since I started using this uh, butter mix um, my skin have been amazingly soft I don't have any more of the scratch and burn and dry skin anymore so with this uh, body butter you can also use for your hair um, it works wonders with dry hair as well However, I will not suggest this to be used daily on your face just because shea butter is a little too heavy for the face. Um, it may clog your pores. So I'm going to be doing a video on um, how to make a face butter pretty soon. So if you're into health and wellness the natural way, please do subscribe and do give this a thumbs up. Thank you for your time and have a blessed, beautiful day, night evening wherever you are and I hope to catch you on my next video.